and this could be the last big payday for the loser. The champion left-handed in the dark green trunks, Bobby Chacon in the red. The referee is a Panamanian, Isaac Pereira. He does not have a ballot. The judges are Carlos Padilla of the Philippines, now living in Las Vegas, Angel Luis Guzman of uh, Puerto Rico, and Tomatsu Tomohara of Hawaii. The WBC representative in ringside is Haig Collegian. The scoring system for the fight under WBC rules, 10-point must. Three knockdown rule is waived. Mandatory eight count, but no standing eight. That will, however, become a fact as of the first of the year. The WBC announcing they will cut their championship fights back to 12 rounds and effect the standing eight count. No saving of the fighter by the bell, except in the 15th round. The ring doctor is Dr. P.B. Montemayor. Arturo Colo Hernandez, the trainer, as Limon gets wild and Chacon hooks him over the top with the left hand. Pretty good left-handed fighter, Chacon has good power. Hard to the belly goes Limon, and his big left landed. Remember, the champion Limon has about a two and a half edge in the reach. The trainer for Bobby Chacon, Joe Ponce. The book on the two fighters, one would figure that Chacon might get off a little faster than Limon. But so far here in the first round, Bazooka giving as much as he is taking. As a matter of fact, he's loaded up his left on two occasions, but each time Chacon has gotten away from it. The gloves are eight ounces. And the ring is about 17 by 17. The building is filled with boxing enthusiasts, a very heavy Latin population around the Sacramento and San Joaquin Stockton region. Pretty good left hand by Limon. Right hand comes over the top and the left hand off the forehead of Chacon. So Bazooka Limon is not opening up slow today. Goes back to the body with a right and the left and keeps poking that right hand into the face of Bobby Chacon. seconds to go in the first round. Scheduled for 15 and the first one's over. Can still move. Does he still have the good wheels? Are the legs still there? The first round he was pretty stationary. He got tagged pretty well to the body and twice to the head by the champion. Lamont is a winger. He doesn't mind missing it. He'll let it go. The right hand jabbed into the face of Chacon, pretty stiff. Like that, pop, pop. up a little bit. Lamone getting a little below the belt buckle, he thought. Belt line. Bobby's face now getting a little red from that right hand being peppered in there by Lamone. Now Chacon presses it a little bit, goes straight at him and lands a left and a right. Good right hand to the body by Chacon, but the following right to the head missed. Side of the head may have hurt him. 
Dashikon fights out of the corner with two right to the head. Another right by Chacon. Another right by Chacon. Yeah, another right by Bobby. And now Bazooka backs up, curls his lip, and looks with disdain and takes another left to the face. Hard right hand by Chacon. Snaps his head back. Chacon scoring big with a right hand in the second round. Second round is over. Well, the old building is ringing with appreciation after that second round as the local favorite Bobby Chacon came storming back. The champion Limon had him pinned in the corner and wailed away at him. He landed one good left hand to the side of the head. And Chacon covering and at the same time absorbing punishment suddenly rose up and fought his way out of the corner and took the play away. There's the left hand right there that rattles Chacon in the corner. Now watch it. Out he comes with a right hand. And another right hand just short, but he kept throwing it. And he landed at least four solid right hand blows to the head of the champion and one good solid body shot. So, Lemon coming out pretty well in the first round, has the challenger come back in the second round, and even things up. Round three, scheduled for 15. I don't know if it'll go that far. In all the years, I don't know that I've ever seen two fighters who are better gamers than these two. A little edge in height, a little edge in reach to the champion Lemon. It is the fourth time that Bobby Chacon has tried to win a world title. Hard right hand by Chacon. Now it is Bazooka popping a right hand, a sharp one to the face of Bobby Chacon. body by Limon and then a right hand over the top that right hand jab of Bazooka very firm there it is and another one Chacon a little and brings the right hand over the top. Chacon nails him with a hard right, but Mazuka comes right back with a straight left, and they're going to give Bobby Chacon an eight count. Mandatory eight count, and the judgment of the referee, Herrera, it was a knockdown, though he didn't go all the way down. They exchanged hard blows, and it was Chacon who hit the canvas. Knocked down and 
gave him an eight count. We're in round number four now. Still a very even fight. For the WBC World Super Featherweight Championship. Bobby Chacon finds Limon with a good left hand. Just missed to the right, and then Limon wails away at the body. Hard shots to the body. Polo Hernandez talking a lot to Bazooka. He wants him to use the right hand more. Bazooka's primary appetite is to just get in there and wheel away. Right hand by Chacon just missed. There's a right hand that didn't. Not a lateral, lateral movement by either fighter. They're just going straight at each other and a hard left hand by Bazooka Lemon as Chacon tried to duck under it and he caught him on the side of the head with it. The right hand, uppercut, got in. Chacon Blake, he needs to get out of that corner because Lemon is letting him go. Right hand gets him again. to get out of that corner. Does with a right hand and staggers the champion with another right hand. They bumped heads. They butted. Hard butt. They really banged heads. And now Chacon pressing the fight. He's got Limon backed into the corner. They really banged heads. Chacon coming on, roaring in the last minute of the round. Less than 10 seconds to go in round number four. Bobby Chacon is bleeding on the interior near the right eye on the nose. It's a cut on the nose just toward to the right eye. And it looked to me like the butt may well have cost it. Hard to say exactly because so many punches were thrown by both men in the round. This is round five. This is the fourth meeting. Each of them winning a split decision. There was a technical draw under California rules. 27 rounds they faced each other. And they're all even, and I've still got them all even. Right hand comes over the top to the side of Bazooka's head by Chacon. That's the champion facing you. Hopping the right hand into the face. Chacon digging the left hand into the body. Bazooka loads one up and gets nothing out of it. Chacon pressing the fight. Now, we anticipated Bobby would have this kind of a run at him in the early going. Blood is not a problem from the cut on the nose for Bobby Chacon. Hundred and thirty pounders. Again, not a lot of lateral movement. Boy, they're just going straight at the target. Taking whatever they have to in order to reach the target. Wicked left hand by Limon. Hard shots to the body by Limon.
told that Bobby Chacon has gone through some of the heaviest training of his life preparing for this fight. So he knows full well after 10 years and 31 years of age, there may not be that many big paydays left. Winning the championship here would really help him get some recognition. That's what he wants. Because he's been a champion and he wants it again. Good left hand by Chacon on the side of the head of Bazooka at the end of round five. We're going now to round six, WBC, World Super Featherweight Championship. Bobby Chacon, the challenger on the left. Bazooka Limon, the champion on the right. They have wailed away through five rounds in this fight. Their fourth meeting. The fight is very close. Give or take a point either way. The three previous meetings, they came off 27 rounds of fighting all even. One of the matches being a seven-round technical draw. Super featherweights are 130-pounders. Bazooka Limon of Mexico City. Bobby Chacon from Oroville, California. Bazooka, 28 years. Bobby, 31. Game little men in a big brawl at Memorial Auditorium in Sacramento. A right hand over the top was a good one on the side of the head of Chacon. A left hand by Limon. And Bazooka misses with the uppercut. Hard right hand by Bazooka. And the referee, Isaac Herrera of Panama, jumps on the champion because the laces almost came open. We'd like to alert our local stations along the way. At the end of the round, we'll take a station break. Right hand and a left hand by Chacon. Another right hand by Chacon. Bobby has a little cut inside the right side of the nose near the right eye as a result of a butt. Another right hand by Chacon. He's scoring with that right, and he's been scoring throughout the fight with it. See a little bit of the blood running down, but no bother to it. A bit of a nick near the corner, inside corner of the champion's right eye. Not much blood from it, just a nick. Right hand lead has been very effective. That time Chacon set him up and then let the right go. Good round so far for Bobby Chacon. Another right followed by a left to the head of the champion. Another right hand by Chacon. Challenger's having a pretty good round. We'll be back with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this word from our local station. They're going to make the uh, people in the corner of the champion take some of the grease off. He's got a nick in that area up there. I noted it a while ago, but it so far hasn't seemed to be any big problem for him and that may well be the result of their headbutt which goes back to the fourth round so Limon comes out a little wild here in round number seven Chacon had a very good round six and right now could well be leading in the fight referee does not have a vote three judges will cast the ballots they are from Las Vegas Puerto Rico and Hawaii Carlos Padilla being originally from the Philippines Oh, it's a crowd here in Sacramento that is into this fight. That sharp right hand of Bazooka. Continuing to be troublesome for Chacon. But it's been the right hand of Bobby Chacon that's been his primary weapon. And in many instances, the right hand lead. Now he hooks twice to the head of the champion, but comes back to the right. Is that right again? and a 
a right by Limon, and now he bangs away at the body of Chacon, and I thought for a moment Bobby might have wobbled a little bit from that left hand. Limon will load it up. You can't take that kind of punishment too long. You've got to fight your way out of it. Now Chacon is trying, and Limon won't let him out. Bazooka backs away. Surely a little arm weary. And Chacon pursues him right to the ropes. It was the champion that broke off the exchange out of the corner. Good left hand, good right hand by Chacon. 40 seconds to go in the seventh round. Another right, another right by Chacon. Cone, the better punch of that exchange. Hard shots to the body by Bazooka. We go to round eight. Bobby Chacon challenging Bazooka Limon for the WBC World Super Featherweight Championship. I thought the last three rounds for the challenge have been pretty good. Been, been very effective with that right hand. Bazooka. Wild. That one was almost low. Good left hook by Chacon. Crowd of better than 4,000 filling Memorial Auditorium. The bulk of them are rooting for Chacon. Bobby getting his movement backwards just in time to ruin the force of that straight left thrown to the champion. more effective in close with a shorter, sharper punches. After these guys get through today, you won't have any trouble if you met them on the street figuring out what they do for a living, would you? Chacon snaps the champion's head back. Bazooka has not been effective in this round. It's been wild, almost lethargic. After that wild exchange, and when he, which he threw about 40 punches in the corner, he might be a little weary. Pretty good left hand by Bazooka there. Trying to set him up for a big left and can't find him. There's a left to the face, another left, a right over the top, a hook by Chacon. Chacon comes back to the left and a right. And now it's the champion taking a hard right to the jaw on the ropes. 20 seconds to go in round eight. This is the biggest round of the fight for Bobby Chacon. Round eight's over. Well, I think they saved from the railroad yards years ago, because it rattles throughout the building when he whacks it with that hammer. 
Now let's see whether or not the champion Bazooka Limon with his back to you there can right his ship. It's been a little bit wayward of late as Chacon has run off, in my opinion, four good rounds. Guess what I'm saying is I feel Chacon might well have won the last four rounds. But we're now getting up into the ninth, 10, 11, and 12 rounds. This is Limon's neighborhood up in here. Bobby Chacon moving more and better now than he was in the first four rounds of the fight. More movement. The right hand of Chacon has been a big problem for Bazooka Limon. It's like that. A cut on just on the right side of the nose near the corner of the right eye that resulted from a headbutt back in the fourth round. You see it on Chacon's face, and there's a bit of a nick in the right eyebrow area of the champion Bazooka Limon. A really whacked head. A left hook is a pretty good one by Bobby Chacon. Another left hook, another right hand. A hard right hand by Chacon. a good hard left hook by Bazooka Lamone in that wild exchange in the corner. There's two rights by the champion. And now he's starting to find Bobby Chacon, but Bobby comes right back with a left and a hard right, and the right hand backs up Lamone. He's in trouble. He's trying to hold on. You see him reach out and try to grab Chacon. Now he's shaking it off a little bit and starting to move. He's taunting him. Hard right hand by Chacon. Another right hand by Chacon, another right hand. Hard right hand by Bobby Chacon, 20 seconds to go. Bazooka Lamont's in trouble. He's about to lose his mouthpiece. He almost went down on that exchange. I don't think he knows who he, where he is. Chacon pressing the fight, and there's the bell mercifully for the champion. Well, you can tell how the crowd feels about it. It was a big round for Chacon. Here you see the champion about to lose his mouthpiece as Bobby Chacon wailed away. And it was a succession of right hands followed by a left hook along the ropes. And then Lamont breaking it off, reached out his arms, trying to grab Chacon and tie him up to get a breath. But Chacon would have none of it and pursued him across the ring and the champion almost went down. As we go to round number 10, I would say Bazooka Limon is in trouble. Now as we go to round number 10, I would say Bazooka Limon is in trouble. He's got to go deep inside of himself now to find whatever it is that makes a fighter. He needs it right now. Right hand to the face. That's something that his trainer Hernandez, Polo Hernandez, has been trying to get him to use more in the fight. But he has at times reverted back to his well-known ways of just wailing away at the body, trying to wear down the opponent. But so far, Chacon had just been getting rougher and rougher and rougher. I thought Bobby started to turn it around back in the fifth round. The 
Chacon a little quicker, getting off first a lot of the time now. That right hand right into the face of the chancellor. Chacon on the seat of his pants. Bobby bounces up, but he was stunned. No question about it. The referee giving him the standing the eight count, mandatory eight count, as he stands in his corner. Now let's see whether or not Limon can take advantage of it. Came early in the round, and Bazooka now trying to press it. Back he goes to the body. He needs to get out of that corner. Each time he has been trapped in the corner, he has absorbed punishment, but then suddenly would come winging out, and normally it's been the right hand that got him out of trouble. Now he gets out of there. Chacon had rolled off five good rounds. The champion puts him down in the tent. And we're looking ahead to 11. As we get ready to go, and you see that Bobby Chacon being hit by that left hand at the slow motion. And he comes storming out for round 11 and scores with a combination to the head of the champion. Bazooka, even though he had stunned Bobby Chacon, did follow it up, though I thought he won the round clearly, and it was the first round that he had clearly won in some time. You can see from the slow motion leading into this 11th round that he still got power to hurt you. This is the area where he is very tough because he has such remarkable endurance. He's 28, Bobby Chacon is 31. They've both been fighting 10 years. trying to fend him off and now it is the champion that grabs and holds. Bazooka looks tired. He looks tired but don't count on it. 
final seconds of round 11. The featherweight champion is in some trouble. He's still got to go. He's got to win some rounds. He's behind, we think, in points, even though he has had Bobby Chacon down twice. And again, the cut very quickly is reopened on Bobby Chacon's nose. Speaking of noses, you sort of get the feeling the champion's having a little trouble maybe breathing. Perhaps he, too, has been injured at, in the nose area. And he looked very tired the last 30 seconds of the 11th round, this being round 12. Now, a lot of blood on the face of Bobby Chacon, but it's from a cut on the nose below the eye. No problem, so far as vision is concerned. The right hand caught the champion coming in. The right hand has been Bobby Chacon's fundamental weapon. Chacon down in the third round for an eight count. Never really went down, just his gloves touched, but the referee Herrera from Panama felt it was a knockdown, so he counted. But in the 10th round, he was dumped by a left hand from the champions. And all the local stations, at the end of this round, we will take a station break. Champion pressing it now a little bit. Bazooka, Limon with his back to you. That is Bobby Chacon on the right. The right hand again, Chacon with the right hand lead to the face of the champion. Trying to win a world title for a fourth time, Bobby Chacon. Bazooka Limon winning this Super Featherweight Championship from Rolando Navarrete. After Navarrete had beaten Cornelius Boza Edwards. And we understand that the winner of this fight is scheduled to go against Cornelius Boza Edwards. And that should be an awfully good one, too. Solid left hand by Limon into the face of Chacon. Montemayor came over and had a look at it and was satisfied with it and left. But it was a, not a particularly difficult cut, even though it might look a little harsh. But as I said, it's not impairing his vision in any way. Scheduled for 15. The fourth meeting between these two men. They fought 27 rounds previously. All even. This is for the Super Featherweight Championship, WBC. The winner, supposedly, to go against Cornelius Boza Edwards. In effect, the champion. 31 year old Bobby Chacon making his fourth try at a championship. 28 year old Bazooka Lamon trying desperately to keep it. And they went to the weigh-in yesterday. Never looked at each other. Never cast a glance. And the champion trying to press it. But again, keeps running into the right-hand lead of Bobby Chacon. in Sacramento. It's a full house. Over 4,000. Hard right hand by 
Patrick Holmes. The champion backs up. And he holds now. champion had the worst of it because every chance he got he grabbed and held and so we'll go ahead to round 14 in what has been an incredible fight at 130 pounds the champion comes out wild both men a little while here to start 14 
that's enough. But he said no. And he's back out there. Trying desperately to find something to stop Chacon and keep his super featherweight championship. Bobby Chacon has fought this fight almost as a man possessed. It has been the right-hand lead. Bobby Chacon that has been his biggest weapon. And in the later rounds, he's been able to load it up and make combinations to the left and the right. And three times, he has almost had the champion down. Chacon down twice for eight counts. One of them, he was stunned. seen one in which two men gave more than these two did today. Bobby Chacon of Oroville, California, trying for the fourth time to win a world championship. Bazooka Limon of Mexico City trying so hard to keep it. back to talk to Bobby Chacon and get the decision as well as a look back at the Pentor Gomez fight from New Orleans. Right now let's take this time out while we wait for the decision. Bobby Chacon standing in the center of the ring obviously feeling he has won the fight. Everybody in the building feels he has won the fight. We have not had the 
declaration as yet. And the security people have done a fine job of keeping interlopers out of the ring. The champion was down in the closing seconds of the 15th round, rose in time to stand at the finish. And it was the kind of a fight where it's a, a near miracle that either man was truly standing at the finish. The WBC Super Featherweight Championship fight, fourth meeting between these two men, and it looks like the eldest of the two is going to be taking the belt home. You go back to the third round when Chacon was down and it wasn't that much of a decisive knockdown. Only his gloves touched. Then the tenth round he took an eight count from a left hand that stunned him. The only real marks of the fight came from a headbutt in the fourth round. The mark in the right eye uh, eyebrow area of the champion and across the bridge of the nose of Chacon. There's the knockdown at the close of the fight. Here's the decision. 43 to 141. Does Tamotua Tamahera has it 141 to 140. And the other judge has it 142 to 141. That's Angel Guzman. All in favor of the new yeah. 